it's a mother trucking story time moral of the story is if someone's peeing do not tell them that their buddy is small okay welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl samantha and i am back with another video if you're not already make sure you go down below and subscribe turn your post notifications on so that you're notified anytime i make a video and make sure you leave a like on this video today we are doing a story time on how i almost died yep i might be overreacting but how i almost died it Thinking about it now, I realize it's it's low-key traumatizing because, okay, if y'all don't know me, I don't do anything. Like, I am boring. All I do is stay in my house. And if I go out with my friends, I go to someone else's house. So regardless of it, when I'm out, I'm just at a house or I'm at a mall. I'm not gonna um, say my friends' names because I, don't, I didn't ask them if they wanted their names put out there, so I'm not gonna put their names. It first started off, with me and two of my other friends and we just wanted to go on a walk this was before like lockdown lockdown where you can go on a walk with like two to three people and you know as long as you have a mask as long as you have this and we were going on a walk around our neighborhood around the jane finch area we did not know where we were going we we're just walking so she's like all right so let's go to this school some Catholic school and it was actually kind of deep. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it was deep. But we didn't notice it because we went through like back roads. So, you know, it was quick. So we were walking and we got to the park and we we're just chilling there. We we're just like making TikToks, you know, we're just doing whatever teens do, I guess. We called one of our friends because we seen him before and then he left and he said he was gonna come back. So we called him and we told him to come to the park and hang out with us because we never seen him like this whole year so he came but he came like a little bit later and at that time it was like seven where it gets dark so it got really dark at like seven and we we're there at, like till eight so we we're just chilling at the park all four of us okay and this random guy pulls up into the like, the parking lot of the school he pulls up into the parking lot but he pulls up into the corner right beside the playground where we're at right and obviously it's dark so we can't really see anything but we know that there's a car there so this man comes out of the car and he starts peeing obviously we couldn't see anything down there but you know he's peeing so my guy friend as stupid as he can be yells it's small we see it it's small like the thing is small we just started laughing and you know when you have like secondhand embarrassment so you start running away because like first off like you're brave you're way too brave for me buddy so i start like running away out of laughter and I, and the guy responds back with ha i was like hey that he heard you bro like he heard you like so after that, we're like, okay, no, no, no. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. So <laughs> we start walking to go home through the back roads. And we're walking through, like, the school. Luckily, thank God I had my glasses that day. Tell me why I see this man walking. Like, we're walking here, and he's walking here. And he's, like, like he's low-key trying to, like, catch up to us or, like, trying to meet us at a point. And none of us could see until I seen, like, I just seen him. And I was like, isn't that the guy that so-and-so just said this to? So we start running the other way because we got scared. Like, we got scared. So we start, like, sprinting to a different, like, pathway. We get there and we're just like, oh my gosh, like, this guy was trying to, like, beat us up or something. Like, I don't know what was going to happen. But yeah. And we're just walking, we're just walking, and we're just like, hopefully he doesn't come. Guess who came in his car, like drove up in his car. This guy seen us, turned, and started coming. The way 
the way God took my legs and I started running, like I started dashing it. What made it worse was one of my friends feet were hurting because we were walking for so long so she couldn't run but like I was just so scared I just started running like I did not know where anybody was I just started running like everybody was behind me I just started running I did not care my guy friend he calls me and he's like Samantha come over here come over here so we hide behind a car but it was a really small car so both of us couldn't hide behind it and I was just really scared like my adrenaline was pumping my legs were like going up and down blah 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 and the car stops like slowly and sees us like sees me and then there's someone in the passenger seat that goes like this i the way the way the the car he he was gonna turn to come back to us so he faces us i don't know what he had I, he probably didn't have anything he was probably just messing with us but we were scared so my guy friend grabs me and we go into someone's backyard and we hop the fence and then we hop another fence. Like when I tell you I was a track star that day, I was a track star that day. Like I honestly should have did track. Well, whoever is guarding that was, I am so sorry. Like I am so sorry because we destroyed that. Somehow after hopping those two fences, we get on the main roads of Jane. So the car is obviously not going to find us because it's like, I don't know. I was just confused. I didn't even know where I was. I did not know where I was, but it was still in the area. We hopped the fences. And I'm just like, where the hell are my two other friends? Um, my phone was broken, so my friend kept trying to call my other friend, but it wasn't working because his phone is broken too. Like, sometimes it doesn't work to call. So I'm like, this is great. Like, this is great. Like, what if they died? Like, God forbid, but what if they died? They didn't. Um, we somehow called them. His phone was on 1% too. That's what made it worse. We somehow called them. And they're just like, we hid behind a truck. I did not see no truck. When I tell you I didn't see nothing but run, like that that was my, my focus, run straight, just run. But they hid behind the truck for like a good 10 minutes and then they called the Uber because they weren't having it. They called the Uber and they went to my friend's house. I just wanted to walk home, but my guy friend was like, you can't walk home in this nighttime by yourself, especially like, because you're a girl. So he's like, uh, I'll get you a lift, I'll get you a lift. But I don't, I don't, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to go home, right? So I was like, actually, let me just call my other friend. Because my other friend, he drives. So I called him and I was just like, yeah, honestly, can you just pick me up? Like, I know this is random, but can you just pick me up, please? Like, and he's like, what's going on? And I'm like, I'll tell you when you get here. Can you just like, pick me up? Just pick me up. Like, just pick me up. And I just kept saying that. I was like, just pick me up. And me and my girlfriend were just laughing. Like, we were just dying. Like, I don't know why it was the funniest thing. We were just dying. So then my guy friend comes and picks me up and then uh, my friend walks from my other friend's house to the car and then he, <laughs> we tell him what happened and then he's just like, you guys are dumb, like, you guys are dumb. I'm just like, I know we're dumb, we're dumb, but it was fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, so he drove us home. I got home and I was just like, my adrenaline was still pumping and I was just like, what the heck just happened?